tier is three different range controls. Um, and they kind of burned away. They got a lot of significant fire damage to them. Um, the very first one is over on your left. You can still see a little bit of the metal rod uh, or stem sticking out of that heating element control. And so um, you may be able to make a determination just looking at it um, on whether uh, that heating element was in the on or off position. The one in the middle, the stem is melted completely down to the face of the uh, control panel. And so it's gonna be a little bit more difficult to, to determine as well as the one on the right hand side is completely falling out. But you can also see down here, this is a hot point range. So that, that helps us out a little bit, identifying that who that manufacturer is. But we wanna try to find out what position they're in. Um, and then if we can't tell by looking at the front, we can take the control panel off, the back of the control panel, we open it up, we look at the ranges, uh, heat and element control switches on each side and see what kind of condition they're in. Um, here you can see that these two switches are in two total different um, conditions. One of them, the one on the left here looks fairly decent um, it's, it's got some burn and stuff to it. It's probably real fragile, while this one over here on the right-hand side has got a lot of fire damage to it, and it's probably real brittle uh, and even may have the um, part of the stem is still in the hole up here that melted off. So um, it may we may not be able to determine what position that one was in, but we try to anyway. Here you can see two more range uh, heating element control switches on the up, opposite side or the right side. <coughs> Excuse me. And we can take a look at those. Um, and a lot of times, these this little siding right here, this material, um, it's kind of like a cardboard type material. Um, I don't know exactly what it's made out of, um, so I don't want to venture to say, but it's real easy to break apart. And you can look down into the side. There's a plastic little um, cam in there. And um, you can look at that cam and see what position it's in, whether it's in the on or off position. Um, as you see in this switch here, the cam positions com the cam is completely out of it. So you wouldn't be able to determine what position it was in um, at the time of the fire. But we still have to look at all those kind of things and find out what kind of condition they're in um, to try to make a decision on whether they're on or off.